I care? Oh, yeah. I'd do anything to be one of those well-dressed GQ posers, but I never get it right. Daddy was a dandy. My Uncle Richie was a dandy's dandy. My brother, as dapper as they get, makes all the gals randy. I don't know where to begin. No matter what I do, I always wind up dressed like some Macy's window mannequin. Yes, I admit, this obsession I can't quit. Cause I spent my life concerned about the cut of my trousers. The width of the leg, too bella to peg, high rise or low, how much sock to show. I spent hours and hours. Yes, I'm one of those obsessive menswear catalog browsers. The pockets, the pizza, the blue in the seat, cup, double stitch, button, fly, or zip. Yes, these myriad questions always arise, no matter what else the dandy cries. Gucci Paul Smith, come de garçon. Tommy Hill figure, go figure, Ralph the Raw. Burberry, Tom Ford, who can afford? It's always McQueen, of whom I dream. Our money, no, my money. I pondered long and hard. Fashions of avant garde. Studied Luomo Vogue for hours. Seeking haute couture's mystical powers. Comparing lapels, which one compels? Is it peaked, is it notched? Which most runway watched? Buttonhole sleeves, one vent or two, two buttons or three? How much shirt cuff do we see? Obviously, I passed way too much time in the tailor's parlor. Exhausting myself with the details of a dandy. Does anyone here understand me? I spent my life pondering these things. The meaning escapes me, but I'd rather be thinking of you. It's true. Instead, I contemplate, single minded, concentrate on the delicate fabric that makes up our lives. The cut of my trousers, the width of the leg, too bella, too back, too cover, too not. That's my simple lot. That's my simple lot That's my simple lot That's my simple lot